Добрый день. Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Today is September the 3rd, 2021. 3 p.m. Moscow time. Let the meeting of the Decision Council for the Defense of Kuwait dissertation for the degree of candidate of the logical sciences in the scientific specialization to 101 Russian literature on the topic classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the work of Pelevin is considered open. The order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg State University, Alexander Gnortov, dated June 3, 2021, number 2988-1, I, Tetarenko Alexander Dmitrievna, Doctor of Philology, Professor of the Department of the History of Russian Literature in Petersburg State University, was appointed the Chairman of the Dissertation Council. The same order approved the members of the Dissertation Council. Let me introduce them. Bolshev Alexander Olegovich, Doctor of Philology, Professor of the Department of the History of Russian Literature. St. Petersburg State University. Yevgeny Ponomarov, Doctor of Philology, Professor of the Department of Mediology and Literature of the St. Petersburg State University, State Institute of Culture. In the remote access mode, the decision council is attended by Pugayeva Lubov Dmitrievna, Doctor of Philology, Associate Professor of the Department of the History of Russian Literature, St. Petersburg State University. Can you see and hear us? The answer is positive. Also, in the road access mode, the PhD in Philology, Professor at Guangdong University of Foreign Languages and International Trade, China, Liu Lifeng. Can you see and hear us? Yes, I can see you well and hear you well. Also, in the road access mode, there is the applicant, Gu Wei. Gu Wei, can you see and hear us? The answer is yes. Take into account the fact that the applicant for scientific degree, Go Wei, is present in the meeting of the decision council in the mode of remote access. I'm raising the question of the possibility of continuing the meeting of the decision council for discussion by the members of the decision council. Alexander Olegovich Bolshev, your opinion? Agreed. Lubov Dmitryna Bugaeva. Your opinion? Agreed. Evgeny Rodolfovich Ponomarov. Agreed. Luli Fen, your opinion? I agree. And my opinion as that of the chairman is positive. I consider it possible to continue the meeting. Taken into account the opinion of the Members of the Decision Council, I announced that the decision to continue the meeting of the Decision Council with the participation of Go Away in the road access mode was adopted unanimously. Also, the scientific advisor of the applicants to Basel, Alidney Dmitrievich, Doctor of Philology, Professor of the Department of History of Russian Literature at Petersburg State University, is also present in the meeting. In order to improve the quality of communication, I ask you, dear colleagues who are in the remote access mode, to turn off your microphones. But please do not forget to turn them on when you're given the floor. I would also like to inform you that audio video recording of our meeting is being conducted and live broadcast on the St. Petersburg State University website is being carried out. Simultaneous interpretation of speeches from Russian to English and vice versa is provided. On the screen of the live broadcast of the meeting of the City Council, an email is currently indicated. 
to which, during the meeting, all listeners can send questions to the applicant or express their opinions concerning the content of the dissertation and the presentation of the applicant. The current scientific discussion and thus take part in the scientific discussion as such. The questions sent via email will be sent uh, to the chair um, person by the technical services. The question should be directly related to the applicant's presentation and the content of the dissertation. It's obligatory to indicate the name, position, and place of work of the author of the question. Questions not related to scientific discussion, dissertation discussion, text and evaluation of the thesis, as well as anonymous questions, will not be voiced. In accordance with the procedure for awarding the scientific degree of candidate of sciences, the scientific degree of doctor of sciences at St. Petersburg State University, approved by local regulations of uh, St. Petersburg State University, here and after procedure. The meeting of the station council is valid if no more than two thirds of the appointed members take place in it. Our decision council consists of five people, or five including two uh, councillors in remote access mode are present. All digital contact is provided. Thus, there is a quorum. I ask the employee of the department for the support of the activities of the station council, quarters of the defence, to issue a turnout list. I establish the following rules of the procedure for today's meeting of the station council, with a total duration of approximately two hours. One, brief information of the chairman about the applicant and the documents submitted by the applicants for scientific degree in their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions. Brief report of the applicant reflecting the main research results, approximately 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly according to the report, no more than two minutes per question. Answers of the applicant, no more than five minutes for all the questions. Speeches of all members of the station council alternately, with, great, uh, with the evaluation of the thesis, as well as with questions and suggestions for the thesis about 10 minutes per speaker. Speech by the chairperson with assessment of the dissertation research, about 10 minutes. Answers of the applicants for scientific degree to the questions and comments of the members of the decision council, no more than 20 minutes. Open discussion. Speeches at the request of those present at the defense with summary of their position. With a summary of their position and or specific questions and proposals for the decision, strictly on the topic of research. No more than two minutes per speaker. At the same time, we ask all those who wish to speak to check in on the registration form, introduce themselves before their speech. The presentation by the chairman of questions is addressed to the applicant, received during the discussion of the speech in the process of scientific discussion during the live broadcast of the meeting of the Station Council on SPBU website. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the written question, the announcement of which takes more than two minutes, will not be voiced. Only the questions that, are, that require less than two minutes to be voiced. Next step, answers of the applicant. No more than two minutes per question. Then, speech by the scientific advice of the applicant no more than three minutes then we move on into the discussion by the members of the decision council before the open roll call during which the sound of the broadcast is muted and finally open roll call counting of votes by the chairman of the station council with a subsequent entry of the result into the minutes of the meeting making decision and awarding or not awarding academic degree 
Concluding remarks of the applicant. Искателя не более двух минут, которым он завершит свое выступление. No more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, are there any questions or objections to the procedure? If there are no questions and objections, I'll proceed with implementation of the rules of procedure. First of all, please turn off the sound of your mobile phones. Well, dear colleagues uh, who are in remote access mode, please do not turn off your phones for prompt communication with us in the event of a technical failure. Thank you for your understanding. So I'm starting to conduct the meeting. Let me introduce the thesis by Go Wei. Go Wei's thesis for the degree of candidate for logical sciences and scientific specialization 01001 Russian literature on the topic classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the work of Pelevin was accepted for defense by order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg State University 4877-1 on the 14th of May 2021. Kuei wrote the dissertation thesis on the basis of St. Petersburg State University. Her Supervisor is Dr. Philology Professor of Department of History of Russian Literature at Petersburg State University, Stefanov Andrei Dmitrievich. Professor of the Department of the History of Russian Literature. The number of publications of the applicant in which the main scientific results of the thesis are stated according to the list presented are three works. In peer review scientific publication from the list approved by Minister of Education and Science of the Russian Federation, all three. The applicant submitted to the academic secretary of St. State University a complete package of documents for acceptance for consideration and defense of the thesis. All documents correspond to clause 12 of section 3 of the procedure. All the documents submitted by the applicant on the information that I received from the curator meet the requirements and are stored in the applicant's certification file. The copies are also in the possession of the employee of the Department for the Support of the Station Councils, who is now attending the meeting. Before giving the floor to the applicant, let me ask a question to the members of the Station Council. Dear members of the Station Council, do you have any general questions for the applicant, including whether there is a need to announce the entire list of documents submitted by the applicant for defence? If you have any questions, please ask them. There are no questions. So we proceed with a brief report by the applicant, go away. I'd like to remind you that the time limit is 15 minutes. Go away, the floor is yours. Thank you. Dear Chairman, dear members of the Distinction Council, dear guests, I would like to draw your attention to the thesis for the degree of candidate of philology on the topic classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the work of Pilavit. In the stories and novels by the Levin, written in 2000s, both direct references to the images and works of Chinese culture and hidden quotes that are not always clear to the Russian reader constantly appear. Falevin has long been interested in ancient Chinese philosophy and Oriental culture in general, building whole works on them, including such stories as Blue Lantern, USSR's Tisho Juan, Record of the Search for the Wind, the novel The Holy Book of Werewolf. In order to better understand the work of Victor Falevin, first of all, we require a intertextual commentary. His work should be read in relation to classical Chinese novel and treaties. So 
such as Journey to the West, Tao Te Ching, Diamond Sutra, and others. Take into account the poorly studied um, cultural significance of these issues, the topic of the work was formulated as followed. Classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the work of Levin. The mixed nature of Pelevin's writing style, his use of various narrative strategies and postmodern artistic style contributes to the integration of modern novels and traditional literary form. As a result of which various types of synthetic novels arose. New trends in literature help Chinese culture to go beyond academic research. It becomes an aesthetic factor that creates a clearly tangible cultural atmosphere in some works of modern Russian literature. Zen Buddhism, Taoist philosophy, and postmodern aesthetics, at first glance, have nothing to do with each other. Nevertheless, in these currents of philosophical thought, one can nevertheless find something in common. This fully applies to the works of Pelevin. What makes the aforementioned philosophical system equal serves in them to achieve harmonious and perfect unity. Pelevin, experiencing the influence of traditional oriental culture and philosophy, is obsessed with the eternal metaphysical problems of life. He tries to reconstruct the model of the real world from the point of view of ancient oriental wisdom. In addition, one of the most appropriate tools for expressing the personal views and ideas was the use of mythology. The main material for our research is the works of Pelevin, in which classical Chinese literature and philosophy play the greatest role. These include the stories USSR Shu Shan, Lower Tundra, Research of the Search Record of the Search for the Wild, part of the Burger GVP, and the novel The Sacred Book of Werewolf. We turn to other texts by the author containing reference to Chinese literature and philosophy. The thesis uses historically, literally, comparative typological and cultural research methods. The theoretical and methodological base is formed by the classical works of leading scientists devoted to the mythology of comparative analysis. The theory and practice of scientific commenting, research by philosophers, sociologists, culturologists, as well as wor works directly devoted to the work of Pelevin. The relevance and the scientific novelty of the research is due to the fact that the chosen topic hasn't yet been properly developed. Existing works interpret it rather fragmentarily, limiting themselves to the analysis of individual work of motives and not seeing the task of giving as exhaustive as possible a real intertextual and linguistic contemporary comprehensive disparate text and motives as element of a single intercultural dialogue. The practical significance of the study lies in the fact that the description of Chinese literally and philosophical intertexts and subtexts proposed in the work can be used in scientific and popular publications of Pelevin, as well as in the process of developing courses on comparative studies, the history of new and recent Russian literature, Russian postmodernism, and the preparation of lectures and practical classes on the works of Pelevin. The main purpose of the thesis and the research is to systematize comment and comprehend the elements of classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the works of Pelevin. To achieve this goal, the dissertation solves the following tasks. To give a real intertextual and linguistic commentary on the works of Pelevin based on Chinese material to show explicit and hidden connection of the writer's works with the Taoist tradition, the teaching of Lao Tzu and Zhuangzi, to discover and comprehend and Buddhist subtext in the stories of Pelevin and his novel, The Sacred Book of Werewolf. 
will reveal sources of Levin's work in classical Chinese short stories and novels to show the way of that transformation and rethinking in the writer's world. To show the function of the revealed Chinese sources and subtexts of Levin's work, comprehend them in the context of the worldview and creative method of the writer, as well as in the broader sense, as elements of an intercultural dialogue between Russia and China. Provisions for defense are the following. Levin's work, starting from the earliest years, reveals the author's good acquaintance with classical Chinese literature and philosophy. The images and motives of the Chinese classics are not simply reproduced, but each time they are transformed by Levin, usually with the aim of correlating them with the modern Russian reality. Next, the most significant Chinese texts clearly and hidden present in the works of Pelevin are works of different genre, Taoist and Zen Buddhist treaties, classical novels, and short stories. Understanding the key points of Mani Pelevin's work, including the philosophical aspirations, insights, and enlightenment, is possible only if the implications associated with the Chinese classic are explicated. The key features of Per Levin's creativity, such as the reciprocity of appearance and reality, moral self-improvement, the ethics of non-action and hermetism, distrust of language dug back to ancient Taoist and Zen Buddhist sources. The urgent task of literary criticism is to study uh, the Per Levin's work in to create a comprehensive commentary of all the cultures. The disclosure of realities, quotes, and reminiscences from classical Chinese literature and philosophy allow us to consider Pelevin's work as an important element of intercultural dialogue between Russia and China. The structure of the thesis is determined by the goals and objectives set in it. It consists of an introduction, three chapters, a conclusion, and a list of references. The introduction provides an overview of the state of scientific literature in China this material is determined uh, substantiated by the goal and objectified and methodologized foundation methodological foundations are found the first chapter analyzes Pelevin's early stories used as Sartre Chouchon and Lower Tuntra. It reveals these books, reveal and explains uh, Chinese literary motives and philosophical elements containing them. The second chapter examines in detail the source of the story record of The Search of the Wind, reveals its figurative content and semantics that arise in dialogue with Chinese philosophy, primarily with Taoism. The third chapter analyzes the sources of the novel, the second book of the werewolf, shows its connection with Chinese mythology, philosophy, and literature, demonstrates the dependence on the Levin's interpretation of modern Russia, a reality on Zen Buddhist foundation of this worldview. In the conclusion, the results of the study are summed up and prospects for future study of Levin's work in connection with Chinese con culture outlined. Pelevin is a writer who knows well how to combine to offer his reader contradictory and complex thought in the spirit of Eastern philosophy and mythology. At the same time, there is such a reflection of these ideas in this text, which testify to the continuation of certain tradition of Russian literature in Pelevin's work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Kawei, for your speech. Now I'd like to address the members of the station council. Are there any questions to the applicant just behind the meeting? Or questions to the content of the thesis?
If there are no questions, we might move on to the next stage. We might listen to the reviews of the members of Decision Council and listen to the assessment of the thesis. Then we will listen to the applicant's response, including the answers. What is more, if we receive any questions via email, we will voice the questions, feedbacks if necessary. I would offer a good way to answer all the reviews as they appear to answer the reviews once they're voiced. Have we received any questions via email? No, we haven't received any of them so far. So we start with the members of the council. Since all the reviews have already been published on the SPVU website to provide you with the insight into the reviews. I'd offer you to read or to speak only about the key points, issues, and uh, you, but you have to voice comments or flaws. Nobody is objecting, so we will proceed. So we start reading the reviews. I'd like to give the floor to Alexander Alegovich Bolshev, with his uh, review of the thesis. Among the main provisions for defense, I would like to outline two main ones. One is understanding the key aspects of majority of uh, works of Belevent, enlightenment of the main character, and so on and so forth is possible only in the condition of explication which is related to the Chinese tradition of, of subtext. Next, such specific traits of the uh, creative works, moral, ethics, actions, disbelief in the language, take back to uh, Taoist and Zen Buddhist ideas. I would like to say that both provisions are well grounded in the thesis. And we are pretty sure that there might be no doubt about the validity of uh, all those examples. In the first part of the thesis, um, the applicant conducts the discussion about the first years of the life of Elton John and uh, chooses the texts based on the idea of life and um, translates the idea of the hero about money, health, wealth. The applicant knows for sure that the um, the folk tradition in India uh, must have had this uh, story long before. This story has a very interesting impact on the Soviet reality. Thus, we have a mixture of different components, which is in fact the, the place of the creative atmosphere of the writer. Russian literally postmodernism uh, exceeded the gap uh, between moralists uh, since they paid more attention to the gaming part. Nevertheless, they demonstrate their desire to teach. Pelevin texts are full of didactics, which, according to the thesis, uh, has the influence of Chinese classical works. It's very interesting to point out alcohol psychedelic motives, which plays a very important role in one of the stories. In the context of Deocism, as stressed, alcohol as stressed in the thesis uh, is considered a remedy for soul. When analyzing specific works, Go Wei tries to expand upon the literally philosophy of the writer as a whole. The second chapter of the dissertation 
has the information on pretty much the same information on the book, the record of the search of the wind. It's also very interesting to take into account the book Roman, the road to the west. Nevertheless, the influence of Chinese culture on modern Russian writers, including Pelevin, sometimes has no direct influence. Firstly, Tolstoy was studying Lozi. Thus, his um, ceremonious religious activities was linked with Taoist theory. And uh, if we talk about the next book, Sacred Book of the Werewolf, we can see that the transformation there play a key role. The same attributes to the image of fox and werewolf of China. They might be different issues performing different functions. Thus, the work by Gove reminds us rightfully about the um, similar points, both in structure and individuality. Uh, as I see the perspective of studying this uh, topic, I would like to say that oh, I didn't want to say that the work is difficult. Since I don't find any substantial flaws in the work by Go Away, uh, nevertheless, I have to uh, provide comments. And I would like to say that um, Pilevin's masterpieces might be viewed in a broader context um, if the works of other writers could be included, uh, those belonging to postmodernism. In the rare cases where Go Away compares Pilevin's texts with other uh, prosaic writers and conducts comparative analysis, sometimes the system is lacking. For example, in one of the stories by Pelevin, there was found a link with the uh, work of the same uh, modern time writer. Uh, the writer herself pays attention, well, the Blue Salo book um, has a lot in common uh, with the above mentioned Pelevin's work. Since this book um, was published eight years later, Pelevin's work might have influenced it. The thesis by Gilway uh, on the topic Classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the creative literary works of Pelevin re corresponds all the requirements of St. Petersburg State University according to the rules on awarding the degrees. And Go Away is liable for the degree of the candidate of philology. Thank you very much. Now the floor is given to go away to provide response to the comments. Thank you very much, Alexander Olegovich, for carefully reading my thesis. I would like to clarify the following. Alexander Olegovich proposes to consider the works in a somewhat more thorough historical and literary context using the works of other Russian postmodernist uh, writers who actively turn to ancient uh, Chinese culture. I'm very grateful for this idea, and this approach will enrich and deepen my research. But in this thesis, I was limited uh, to the study of Pelevin's text. Although, when considering Pelevin's story, I also touched upon the Demir Sorokin's novel, Blue uh, Sala Bacon. I agree that this analysis is uh, somewhat su superfluous and it is only a generic link between 
the text of both offers. Thank you very much for the comments. That's the end of the response. Dear colleagues, members of the decision council, are you all satisfied with the Galway's response? Alexander Legovich, are you satisfied? I'm fully satisfied. Then we'll proceed. Do those present in the assembly hall have any questions? If there are no questions, then we'll proceed. And I give the floor to Luli Fang to voice their view. The floor is yours. In the works by Victor Pelevin, there are many elements of Chinese culture which reflect Chinese aesthetics. In the early years, Pelevin got acquainted with classical Chinese literature and philosophy, with the ideas by Lao Tzu and Chuan Tzu. He was well aware of ancient Chinese philosophy and loved Oriental culture. Pelevin depicted the elements of Chinese and Oriental cultures in his novels to create the new atmosphere and express some ideas. In his works, Pilevin could craftily integrate the Western cultural background and the national oriental uh, traditions, as well as national literary traditions. Thus, making his works of mixed cultural origin. The novel by Belevin, USSR Teixeira, has such elements of Chinese culture as a dream at Nanke, the ant climbing down the tree in blossom which creates a unique poetic style and philosophic interpretation. Pelevin, in addition to Chinese fairy tales, gives the colors of the Soviet epoch, creating impossible adventures. The author purposefully uses absurd stories to criticize the absurdity of centralized power and to show the modest individual fate. Paying attention on the wave of westernization, materialism and utilitarianism. Researching these topics and other topics such as the complexity of a person, free will, and self-analysis, and religious beliefs. The a Sacred Book of the Werewolf is one of the books depicting all these ideas. The thesis by Gawai is dedicated to the topic which is uh, not studied enough both in Russia and China. The thesis uses historically, literally, comparative topological and cultural methods of uh, research. The author creates a comparative analysis of the works by Plevin, USSR Teixeira, The Lower Tundra, The Record of the Search for the Wind, and the novel Sacred Book of the Werewolf. bringing to surface the Chinese literary motives and philosophical elements that are contained in these books. The thesis talks about the realia intertextual and linguistic commentary to 
the Pilevin's works based on uh, Chinese ancient literature. We can see the links uh, of Pilevin with uh, Tao's tradition, the ideas of Lao Tzu and Chuan Tzu. We can see Zen Buddhist uh, intertext. The structure of the work is rational, logical, and the analysis is deep and comprehensive. The author has very profound theoretic base and has high professional knowledge and good analytic skills. The thesis that we are discussing today is of high quality. Despite the fact that the thesis by Go Wei has a lot of positive sides, I would also like to pay attention to certain drawbacks. Firstly, the names of the structural parts of the works do not emphasize the aspect of the research undertaken. For example, it is not clear which aspects are analyzed in Chapter 1 early stories linked to China in subsection 1.2, the lower tundra. These parts of the thesis provide comparative analysis of the classical Chinese culture and philosophy in the stories by Pelevin, USSR Te Shouzhuan, and the lower tundra. It would be better to change the names into the early stories linked to China with more informative names, such as comparative analysis of the earlier stories linked to China and comparative analysis of the story the Lower Tundra. The subsections of Chapter 2, Classical Chinese Culture and Philosophy, in the, the story The Record of the Search of the Wind, could have been named differently in a more informative way. 2.1 Classical Chinese Culture in the story The Record of the Search of the Wind and 2.2 Philosophy in this story. Next, the name uh, of subpoint 1.1 3.1, the Dunbin, does not correspond to the name of the uh, first subpoint 1.13 Elements of Daos ideas in the story USSR uh, Tai Shoujua. Next, it is impossible to give the same names to the uh, chapter and the subsection, which was the case with chapter 3 and uh, subsection 3.3. .3. The thesis by Go Wei on the topic of the classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the works of Pelevin fully corresponds to all the requirements by order from the 1st of, Secretary, 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1 on awarding scientific degrees at St. Peterborough State University. The applicant go away deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of philology, major 10101 Russian literature. Point 11 of the above mentioned procedure hasn't been violated. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Go away. Now you ought to answer the questions and comments. I'd like to thank the Professor Luli Fan for carefully reading my thesis and making important comments. Indeed, I should have given more complex and more informative names to the structural parts of the dissertation and be sure to introduce the phrase comparative analysis into these names. The coincidence of the title of the third chapter and one of its subsections, of course, is a mistake and my oversight. And uh, I completely agree with the reviewer. 
I'll try to take into account all these comments. Um, thank you once again. Lulifan, are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, I'm fully satisfied. Thank you. I think that sh sh her work is just great. Dear members of the Dissertation Council, is everybody satisfied with Gu Wei's answers? Now we move on to the next review and we give the floor to Lubov Dmitrievna Bogaeva. Lubov Dmitrievna, the floor is yours. Gouet has uh, the idea to systematize and discuss all the important aspects. The applicant pays attention to a lot of realia reminiscences. Thus, Xiao Wimpelava not only as a specialist in Chinese culture, but also uh, showing the basis of the Chinese culture as the that for the works by Pelevin. The realities in the stories are embedded in one another according to the principle of nesting dolls. And as the applicant uh, says, the very early works by Pelevin demonstrate the in-depth knowledge of Chinese philosophy. And this is attributed to the uh, USSR Tisho Zhuan stories. When reading the Pelevin text in detail, we can see not only the novels of the writers of the 19th uh, century, and other texts uh, belonging to the Chinese culture. In the second uh, chapter of uh, the record of the search for the wind shows uh, the influence not only of Confucianism but of Taoist ideas and paying attention to the Chinese realia. In this chapter, as well as in other chapters, we can see a lot of uh, Zen Buddhist ideas. And Gu Wei interprets the text in the light of Chinese ideas, thus uh, proving that Pelevin is addressing sacred books. According to Gu Wei, the absence of the written signs is the only possibility to talk about uh, most important ideas. In the third chapter, Gwei talks about the sacred book of the werewolf, in which Gwei analyzes how Pelevin interprets different aspects of this image. It's very important uh, how the Taoist philosophy is being addressed in this chapter. The declaration of the absence of authority of uh, signs in which the ideas could not be transferred via the sign. And in conclusion, Gouwei says that it is impossible to understand the works by Pelevin without the commentary, Chinese realia, and um, mythological strata. It is worth noting the structure of the dissertation and its comprehensive type. The understanding of the interpretation of Pelevin. Along with the positive aspects of the dissertation, there are certain uh, drawbacks. Gu Wei uh, sees behind the address of philosophy uh, certain author's ideas. After the crisis, the uh, country might restore itself and take the right uh, turn and create its own dream. And such interpretation of uh, intentions, we need to 
talk about the difficulties and we need to take into account the modus of literally text. Irony plays a very important role in Pleven text and it's important to pay attention to irony and we should not attribute to Pleven certain intentions and they are not well grounded. Another problem of intertextual analysis is uh, poly intertextuality. Very often Pleven works on a number of uh, contexts combining uh, which is impossible to combine, for example, such as Scandinavian and Greek mythology. In the record of the search of the wind, along with Taoist ideas, we can see the uh, allusion to the cave by uh, Plato. When we see um, Jester talking about the shades on the, the cave and mentioning of the shades, talking of the shadows that can depict the truth. Similarly, the idea of uh, drug influence goes not only to a uh, sophist ideology, thus the com complex approach to intertext um, makes it more complex to analyze it and it's not always easy to narrow it down to Chinese sources. There is a certain hierarchy. Uh, some ideas function as additional and some function as the key ones. Gu Wei has provided an in-depth analysis of the Chinese tradition and I would like to say that the lack of the interpretation of the um, sign Sing is an omission by Gu Wei. Pelevin says that the sign Sing is not only the not the hidden idea of everything, but we only see uh, the ink. Thanks to the element of heart, which is of crucial importance for this uh, character, uh, this character has the Taoist uh, subtext where truth is achieved via heart. Thus, it would be a part of the interpretation. Uh, sometimes there were miscomprehensions. Uh, Socrates talked about ethical problems and not uh, about the world of ideas. Nevertheless, the above mentioned drawbacks uh, might serve as the comments for the future research. This research conducted is very important for the studies of the works by Victor Pelevin, the literature of postmodernism and um, post postmodernist time, intercultural dialogue, and the theory of intertext. This is a substantial work which is, um, which corresponds to all the requirements. for awarding the uh, degrees, scientific degrees, at St. of State University. And Go Away deserves being awarded the degree of the candidate of uh, philology. Thank you, Lubov Dmitrievna. And we give the floor to Go Away to answer the questions and comments. I'm very grateful for the tail review of my thesis. Uh, firstly, Lubov Dmitrievna points to Pelevin's irony, which could be seen um, already in his early stories, including the story of Sartre Undoubtedly, Pelevin's work belongs to the ironic mode, and the thesis repeatedly points out Pelevin's irony in connection with each of the analyzed work. 
However, it seems to us that in the earliest text of the writers, writer written during the general inspiration of Perestroika, there is the grain of optimism. The ironic portrayal of power and bureaucracy in the story USSR Teixeira Juan can be interpreted precisely in the Perestroika spirit, that is, as implying the possibility of improvement. In addition, it should be noted that all early Pleven's work are finally optimistic and devoid of irony. They always show the way out of the situation. But of course, in general, Pleven's ironic attitude to the Dubekmist society dominates. Secondly, Lvov Dubitrivna raises the question of polygenic intertextuality pointing out uh, the allusions to the platonic myth about the cave in the record of the search for the wind. Undoubtedly, the fragment where uh, it is said the magician sitting in front of the lamp create complex figures with their fingers uh, allows the readers to recall the myth. However, among on the figures on the walls, tigers are mentioned, which indicates that most likely we are talking about a Chinese magician. However, the myth of the shadows is entirely important, um, and especially in the story of the contemplator of the shadow, which we did not analyze. The direct source of the motive of intoxication, uh, which we analyzed a number of Pleven's work, was a Chinese text. However, this does not exclude the intertextual background. Sufism, Sufist ideas, the works of Timothy Leary and other sources. In future, I'd like to broaden the scope of my research to reach fuller conclusions, more comprehensive conclusions. Thirdly, Lubov Mitrovna points out that the meaning of the character sin is in the record of the search for the wind hasn't been revealed unfortunately i haven't found the key to explain it and this is not the only undisclosed realia in the text uh, several elements uh, remained uh, beyond the scope of my research since i did not understand them chinese characters are ideographic and um, same pronunciation can respond to different characters. As for the choreographic character Xen, mentioned by Pelevin in the story, it's thought I thought about the heart. But then Pelevin writes, in ancient time, the sign was carved on the tortoise shell in the form of figure that was similar, so as to speak, external kidney. This remains unclear, since I'm not sure if Pelevin means heart Thus, I decided not to interpret the character sin. If we understand this character as heart, then I completely agree with the statement of Lubov Mitrievna. Thank you again for your valuable comments. Lubov Mitrievna, are you satisfied with the answers provided? Yes, I'm satisfied, but I still believe that earlier works of Pelevin are not so, so straightforward and uh, likes violating such straightforward logic and one of his uh, favorite tactics is um, getting out of the game thus showing that there is no logic but I suppose that the applicant can have a different opinion Dear colleagues, dear members of the Distinction Council, are there any questions or comments? Since there are no questions, then I give the floor to the next speaker, to Evgeny Rodolfovich Ponomarov. It's a great pleasure for me to participate in the work of the Distinction Council. in my alma mater in uh, the Department of Philology. 
the topic of the thesis, the classical Chinese literature and philosophy in the works of Pelevin is of crucial importance. Using oriental wisdom in the works by Pelevin often seems to be an element of postmodernist game, and no more than that. For you often we can hear that Pelevin uh, has a very superfluous idea of uh, the oriental culture and uses not the elements of oriental culture but uh, his personal ideas. But the thesis demonstrates that oriental culture, that is uh, classical Chinese literature and Chinese philosophy, are the topics uh, with which Pelevin is mm, well acquainted with. And his postmodernist game is based on the transformation, his postmodernist play is based on transformation of classical Chinese um, plots, using them in uh, post Soviet modernity. The applicant chose such stories as um, the record of the search for uh, the wind and a novel, The Sacred Book of the Werewolf, and two early stories by Pelevin. Unfortunately, the novel Chapayev and the Void, Bustata, the central work uh, with oriental topic, were not touched upon. Nevertheless, the uh, works chosen are most appropriate to solve the uh, tasks stated in the thesis. The thesis focuses on the work starting from 90s and two texts of uh, Pelevin in the middle of 2000s. Uh, subsequent works by the author uh, are not taken into consideration. Thus, we can see only the classical Pelevin, not the modern one. This influences, this time focus influences the topic of uh, focus. Nevertheless, the uh, sense of the time frame uh, is well understood and explained in the uh, thesis. Uh, can we say that within the, the next 15 years, uh, Pelevin is, does not address Chinese literature on philosophy later on? Uh, does it characterize his creative work as a whole or only the earlier part of the work? Go Wei talks about the uh, illusions that create a very important cultural historical background of Pelevin. Uh, sometimes mm, the applicant uses extensive commentary. Sometimes this introduction into Chinese culture is absolutely necessary to understand the um, cultural intertext, the ideas of Pelevin's work. The uh, general conclusions are relevant to the commentary at the end of the chapters. I'd like to skip some part of my review. And focus on the idea in the second chapter where the applicant discusses, discusses uh, with some of the authors uh, saying that uh, Taoist ideas had more influence than they, those ideas of Confucianism. This is a very discursive issue. Um, sometimes it is worth noting a uh, certain ambiguity in the names of the sections. That is uh, subsection 2.1 uh, 
is not rightly named since it discusses not only the geographic names and names as such but also the cult of Sicardi and the uh, powder five stones. Uh, what is a very positive trait of the thesis is that it gives a very important list of uh, text which can be attributed to Chinese culture, uh, which depicts the realia and the plots necessary to understand the oriental ideas in the works by Pelevin. Uh, sometimes the explanations are quite elementary. For example, in the phrase, one of the key differences between uh, realism and postmodernism is the fact that realism puts life in its center and postmodernism puts language in the center. Well, it is a little bit naive. Nevertheless, the thesis introduces a significant amount of new ideas into the scientific discussion. Uh, it also reaches a new level of commenting per eleven texts. And we can but agree with the following statement. The main conclusion, the main result of uh, the research is the following without the commentary of the Chinese reality ideas, idioms, um, myths mentioned in the works by Pelevin, is important is impossible to understand the texts. Thus the thesis, classical Chinese literature and philosophy, and works of Pelevin corresponds to all the requirements by the order of the 1st of September 2016, 68 and 21 slash 1, on awarding the scientific degrees in Spital State University, applicant go away, deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of philology on May 10 101. Thank you very much, Evgeny Brigolfovich, and we give the floor to go away. I would like to thank Evgeny Brigolfovich for reading my work and showing interest in it. I would like to answer the following the comments as following. The dissertation does not consider in detail the novel Chapayev and Emptiness. Uh, although this work contains many oriental elements. Since this particular novel, although it contains many oriental elements, um, these are only the elements. And this is a novel on Chinese theme. Therefore, I did not use this work in the systematic analysis. Another reason that I didn't include this novel is that I have already fulfilled uh, some tasks related to this novel in my master's degree. As for the temporal bias uh, to watch P11, which Genya Vrodolfovich talked about, As far as I know, among the novels written after the Holy Book of the Sacred Book of the Werewolf, there are no texts directed directly related to Chinese culture. Late Pelevin uh, has texts on Buddhist topics, which deal mainly with Indian Buddhism. I think that the study of these texts is possible in the future if the research topic is expanded in such a way that it includes all types of oriental motives and oriental religious beliefs. I can answer uh, the Evgeny Rudolfovich comment the following way. Judging by the text, Pelevin had a special interest in Chinese literature and philosophy in the early period of his work. 
when uh, the sacred book of the werewolf and record of the search of the wind were published. It was them that I analyzed. Uh, and I agree with the title of section 2.1 was unfortunate. It had to be supplemented as following proper names and the objective world of the story or proper names and realities of the story. And thank you for the comment. As for the remark about naive representation, I apologize for the shortcomings of composition and style. They are explained by the difficulty of expressing thoughts in a foreign language. I agree that the differences between realism and postmodernism should have been covered in more detail. Thank you very much once again. Evgeny Rodolfovich, do you agree with the comments? Yes, I agree with the comments. Dear members, do you have any, dear members of the council, do you have any questions or comments? If there are none, I'd like to voice my review, that of the chairman. Go away thesis is the type of the modern scientific work dedicated to the transformation of the classical Chinese uh, ph philosophy in the works by Pelevin. In the modern literary studies, comparative analysis is one of the priority issues. The dissertation by Li Fei is dedicated to the poetics of the uh, Russian literature. It is linked to the mythology and folklore of uh, China and Chinese literature. So-called Chinese text is perceived by the author as a, a generative idea. A such an approach allows not only to deepen the analysis, but use the analysis of texts based on the transformation of the universal ideas of the literature and uh, the creative aspect. Since, according to Zermonsky and Veselovsky, was considered to be the creation of universal literature. The topic has been of interest to the researchers. It's a systematic analysis and uh, using commentary was conducted for the first time using such comprehensive material using different genres. Apart from historically literally aspects, the applicant pays additional attention to the comparative analysis of um, Taoist and Zen Buddhist ideas to talk about the uh, images in the works of Pelevin. The scientific scope of interest is rather comprehensive. The work is very representative. The novelty and the relevance of the work uh, are identified in the introduction methodology and the logics of analysis were provided. Methodological basis of the research conducted are beyond doubt. The principle of historical uh, poetics and textual methods, comparative literary analysis are without doubt. Comparative analysis as the science of the influence of different literary works on each other. Large amount of material has been studied. The 
different constant aspects of Chinese literary uh, works has been analyzed. And the works analyzed and the comprehensive approach uh, demonstrate the philological intelligence of the author. Based on the works dedicated to uh, Pilevin, the applicant not only deepens the existing points of view, but also provides a different angle on understanding of work of the text of Chinese culture and determine the ideas of typologization and systematization and the transformation of the texts. Since the review is published on the website, I would like to summarize the main points. The goals set in the thesis are achieved. I'd like to note that many aspects of the analysis are of crucial importance and they are belong to the author. They include the in-depth analysis of the text generating resource of Chinese literature and tradition in the analyzed text. The experience, theoretical uh, systematization and typologization of the material is important. Nevertheless, the thesis has a certain aspects which require additional qualification. It is uh, said that stories and novels of Philevin provides insights into Chinese and Oriental culture. Taoism ideas has not only the roots of the Chinese culture, as stated by the author, but also is a very generic aspect uh, that could be found in the religious aspects and um, philosophical ideas of such countries as Korea and India and others. So it is necessary to say whether Pleven experienced the influence only of Taoist ideas uh, belonging to China, or this is a universal work perception that can be found in the philosophies and religious ideas of um, oriental countries. It is also necessary to point out which works were of crucial importance since our introduction talks about a large number of works and it is felt that you know them in in depth, but not all of them can be found in the uh, bibliography reference. There are certain stylistic um, weak points. Nevertheless, these um, drawbacks do not uh, under evaluate the um, importance of the work. Their research topic uh, found in the Gurway thesis, its representation are beyond doubt. The text of the thesis corresponds to the topic chosen and the specialization 101 and the provisions for defense uh, are analyzed. The comprehensive analysis and the research conducted reflect the content of the work. Uh, Goway has the required number of the articles, thus the thesis by Goway provided for um, their defense is a um, work which has the traits of novelty and corresponds to the main requirements of St. Petersburg State University according to the decree on awarding scientific degrees. And applicant Goway deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of philology, uh, major 101 Russian literature. Points 911 of the above mentioned procedure haven't been violated. Thank you for your attention. We give the floor to go away, the applicant. I would like to thank you for uh, 
high appreciation of my work. Um, and I accept the comments with gratitude. First question was, was Plevin influenced only by Chinese and Buddhism, or it is the embodiment of some universal understanding presented in the religions and philosophy of the East? It seems to me that Pelevin's work are multifaceted. They are associated with many branches of religion, philosophy, culture of China, India, Korea, and Japan. Uh, when Pelevin turns to Buddhism, it's mainly um, to the variety Zen Buddhism, which was pointed out by many researchers, for example, Alexander Janis, Matthew Szymanski. There is no doubt that Buddhism is an intercultural religious teaching and that Pelevin is interested in all its uh, branches, as well as in East Oriental spiritual culture in general. The second section of uh, the dissertation deals with the spread of Zen Buddhism from India to China. However, the novel, The Sacred Book of the Werewolf, is based on Chinese cultural tradition. And we, according to the topic chosen, try to reveal the content of Chinese realia, uh, for example, the image of a Chinese Buddhist monastery. At the same time, the thesis contains reference to uh, Buddhist sutras of Indian origin. Um, we did not deal with the uh, topics of Korea in Japan uh, with Pelevin, although uh, the author has text on the following topics. This could serve as a topic of a broader study. Secondly, the dissertation lacks explanation um, of which works on the mythology and the comparative analysis turned out to be relevant for studying the topic of the thesis. And there are not many works in the list of references. In the introduction, we indicated several works of the classics of comparative studies, uh, starting with Buxim of uh, Victor uh, Zemunski and ending with Sevelod Pekno. These works served as an example of strictly scientific approach to material when comparing Russian literature with foreign works. Thus, action is a model for distinguishing between uh, genetic and topological approaches, a model for involving philosophical and religious sources in analysis of literary texts. However, these works were not included in the list of um, reference since they are devoted to other topics and are not um, quoted in the text of the thesis. I do agree that they could have been included, as well as other important theoretical comparative works. I'd like to thank again Svetlana Dmitrievna for uh, the feedback. Thank you. I'm satisfied with the answers provided by Covey. Uh, dear colleagues, members of the dissertation council, do you have any questions or remarks? Since there are no questions and remarks, would anybody like to take the floor? According to the procedure, we are to voice the questions that were received uh, during the meeting. As of now, we haven't received any questions via email. Thus, we proceed with a speech by the scientific advisor. Admitri Trich, the floor is yours. Dear colleagues, Go away is the graduate student of St. Petersburg State University starting from uh, 2016 till 2019 when she graduated on the Department of the History of Literature and the uh, major is 10.01.01 Russian Literature. As for the relevance of uh, the topic, Russian literature is uh, now being analyzed by science. And we can see 
this um, is the basis of analysis for philological and philosophical influence of different works on the work of Levin. Uh, we're well aware that the applicant is able to provide logical analysis of her work and has in-depth knowledge of all the works uh, related to uh, philological aspects of the uh, researched topic. Well, scientific advisor should not uh, provide the estimation of the work of the thesis. But I would like to say that after reading this thesis, so the readers uh, would definitely understand the works by Pelevin uh, much better. And up till now, this comments um, have been the uh, result of theoretic work. Uh, many works have been published in articles and presented at conferences. The scientific novelty of the result can be found in uh, numerous evaluated works. The thesis, in my opinion, is of theoretic importance. It analyzes Buddhist and Taoist problematics in the works of Pelevin and the practical importance of uh, the way Pelevin used um, Chinese tradition in comparison with other writers. And this can be used to uh, provide comparative analysis to other writers. Go Wei is a great uh, researcher, and I hope that she will face great scientific and uh, research future. The main provisions for defense are of crucial importance uh, to study Russian literature of the second half of the 20th century. Uh, but I hope that the members of the District Council will voice their opinions on the thesis. Thank you very much, Admir Tritirovich. Dear colleagues, who is also willing to take the floor? Are there any more questions to the applicant? If there are no questions to the applicant, then we will finalize our discussion and we do not receive any more questions. Prior to the final roll call, I would like to ask all the members of the dissertation council and the applicant. Do the members of the dissertation council remarks or questions on the procedure of the meeting, including those related to the remote access mode. Alexandra Legovich, questions, remarks? No. Evgenia Rudolfovich, no. Lubov Dmitrievna, no. Questions and remarks? Liu Lufeng, no. I also have no objections, no comments. Then we move on to the next point in the procedure, to the roll call. Do we need to make a break in order to discuss the results of the defense? Is it necessary to make a five minute break? Well, I'm not sure if we need the break. I'll agree with the colleagues. If we need a break, then we'll have a discussion during the break and we'll mute the sound. If there is no need to have the break, then we can voice our opinions on the work. I suppose that we need the break to discuss the results. Dear colleagues, 
prior to the roll call, we are going to mute the broadcast and declare the technical Уважаемые коллеги, заседание продолжается после Dear colleagues, we continue the meeting. Please make sure that you have the audiovisual contact with us. Let's check if we can see and hear each other well. I'd like the curator of the defense to provide me with the turnout list. I raise the question of awarding away the scientific degree of candidate of philology on specialization 10101 Russian literature on open roll call. I remind you that the decision of the station council is considered positive if more than a half of the members present at the uh, meeting present but not less than the three members of the council according to the order of awarding the scientific degrees in Sibiru State University. Sandra Levich, your opinion. 
positive. Lubov Dmitrievna deserves being wounded. Lulifine, you are dead. I agree. I want to say that her work is excellent. A plus. Evgeny Rodolfovich. Agreed. And I, as the chairperson to Jenga Svetlana Dmitrievna, consider that Lulifan deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of philology, major 10101 Russian literature. Thus, dear colleagues and guests, I declare that out of five members of the station council participating in the roll call, voted for pipe people against none abstained now. Thus, we take the decision on awarding go away the scientific degree of candidate of philology on scientific major 10101 Russian literature. And I give the floor to the applicant for final remarks. Go away, the floor is yours. Dear chairperson, dear members of the Decision Council, dear guests, I would like to express my thanks to all those taking place in the preparation of the thesis and in my public defense. First of all, I would like to thank the chairperson of the Decision Council and the specialist from the Department on Dissertation Council work. I would also like to thank my scientific supervisor for his help at all the stages of uh, my research. If it hadn't been for him, I wouldn't have completed my work. What is more, I would like to express my deep gratitude to the members of the Station Council for their reviews that allowed me to identify the flaws and to get also the overall positive uh, view on my dissertation. Thank you for the attention that you dedicated to my research. Finally, I would like to thank my husband, my daughter and my parents who supported me when I was studying and working on my research. Thank you for your attention. Go away, we would like to congratulate you on your successful defense. The meeting on uh, defense by Go away is declared closed. We would like to turn off the broadcast. Thank you.